Hey, this is Jeff with Gear Report, and uh, today we're going to look at the Lone Wolf Distributors drop-in barrel. This is a threaded barrel for a Glock 17. So uh, I reached out to Lone Wolf Distributors and asked them if, they, if they'd mind sending one of their threaded barrels to review. They were kind enough to send it. Uh, it actually got here really quickly. Very smooth experience so far. The barrel is stainless steel, and I asked them to include a thread protector because what we're going to use this for, uh, in the coming months we'll be testing some silencers, and some of them will be tested on this uh, Glock 17. So I needed a threaded barrel for that. Sometimes we won't be using that, so we've got this little screw-on thread protector on the end and then uh, the 17TH barrel in stainless steel. And we're going to install it in this Glock 17, so you can see uh, Magwell's empty, chamber is empty. And uh, let's see how long it takes to install this. So, release the firing pin. Take the slide off. Take the spring assembly out. Here's the stock Glock barrel. It's out. Now for this part, we have to take the thread protector off. It's the most time-consuming part of the whole operation right here. Take the thread protector off, drop the new barrel in, put the thread protector back on. There we go. Put the spring assembly back. on the slide. Done. Pretty simple. I'm not that skilled and I was able to do that in what? A little over a minute. Uh, next step where we've got some targets set up here, we're going to test fire. All right. We'll see how this Lone Wolf Distributors barrel works in the Glock 17. Oh, we had a couple of snaps. This is a Generation 1 Glock magazine. So I'm going to go switch to a more recent. Okay, you ready? Yeah, you're clear. From this one, we can tell that it's not the ammo that is giving us trouble. Now we're shooting some Winchester 9mm, 115 grain. They call this white box. Uh, once again, from our friends at ammunitionsupplycompany.com, so check them out. Shooting it from a standard Glock 17 round magazine that has had a Pierce Grip uh, PG G4 Plus. This is a Glock Gen 4 magazine extension that adds a couple rounds to it as well. So uh, let's see how it shoots. No problems with that ammo. Everything worked pretty well. All right, now we're going to shoot the Spear LE Gold Dot Duty Ammunition. The Spear LE, so this is the law enforcement version of their ammunition, Gold Dot Duty Ammo. This is 9mm Luger, 115 grain, 
we're looking at a brass case with a copper jacketed hollow point round. Alright, so one thing we found so far here at the range is uh, what have I shot? Uh, 25, 30 rounds through the Lone Wolf Distributor's stainless steel threaded drop-in barrel. This is the 17TH for the Glock 17. This is a Gen 4 Glock 17, by the way. Seems to be working pretty well when used with a Gen 4 Glock mag. When I used it with the old Gen 1 10 round mag, I, I did have a couple failed feeds. Uh, when I switched to the other magazine, everything went pretty well. So, uh, and I didn't see it hanging up on the barrel any. So far, everything's going pretty well. One thing I've noticed, however, is the barrel thread protector, this little screw-on sleeve, keeps coming loose. So, if you're going to shoot with one of these and have the, the thread protector on it, be sure you check that so it doesn't work its way loose and come off. So, now we're going to switch to some function testing for this Spear LE. This is their law enforcement ammunition. This is the gold dot in 115 grain, 9 millimeter Luger. Really nice hollow point. It's a jacketed hollow point round with the leg core, and it has kind of a conical indentation in the front uh, that should really cause some neat expansion. We've got some ballistic gel blocks on the way. When those get here, we'll show you how they expand. For now, let's just do some function testing. Make sure I got about 10 rounds in this mag, and I'm going to see if I can get on target with the big gong this time. See how the Spear Gold Dot rounds from Ammunition Supply Company work out. All right, clear. All right, no issues. All right. First, first six rounds are 124. They are supersonic mm -hmm. through the can, so it, they will make more noise. But after that, they'll be subsonics. Yep. And they will be a lot quieter. So am I at a point with this that I should uh, put the ears on? The first round will make a louder pop, mm -hmm. but it won't. It should not make your ears ring at all. all right, we'll off for now. All right. uh, if you want to shoot the, uh, if you can see it, the uh, bowling pin, bowling pin. Yeah. Uh -huh. so yeah have fun it. with it. Oh, that's interesting. So the can blocks the yeah front sight a little bit. Subsonic, so go right ahead. Oh my goodness. There you go. Wow. All right. That, that's it. That is something. I mean, again, the mechanical noise is, is almost more than. Unless, the if you're going to shoot itself. suppressed, unless you shoot subsonic, you really oh. cannot appreciate it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, good job. Get up there. That, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that might not be quite Hollywood quiet, but that does definitely have a wow factor. Not out. I'll tell you what.